this wildlife corridor consists of over a thousand trees, native woodland, there's silver birch, mountain ash and oak. It was an initiative that we undertook when we opened our agritourism business here on the farm where we welcome visitors from all over the world so it was really to offset our carbon footprint and it was our contribution to that so we're delighted that it's a uh, blossoming away and growing away and it's a delight to have it. It's also a great shelter for our sheep here because the wind funnels in from the Duloc Valley so it gives them a nice area to shelter. We're very very fortunate uh, that Len Keen Farm is part of the Mwilra Shafri uh, complex under the EU designation of special area of conservation. This landscape both upland and lowland still retains the ecology of the ice age so we're especially proud of that and uh, we really see ourselves as caretakers of protecting the natural habitats here which consist of um, there's lots of sphagnum mosses which there's peatland habitats there's arctic alpine plants here from growing still from the ice age and of course the natural water water courses one of which is the Karaniski river the Karaniski River has a level 5 rating, it's one of the cleanest rivers in Europe. It's a salmon spawning river and it flows right through the Glen Keane farms. We are part of the Pearl Mussel project, part of our common edge runs in and the water courses are on that. And actually the Bundereha area has the highest level of the Pearl Mussel catchment in Ireland. So um, we're really proud to be part of that project. It's a tremendous project and really it endorses the special area of conservation and all of the natural habitats that we have here in this region. As farmers, we're caretakers for the future of farming and future generations. And we're so lucky that this ecology still remains here today. And that's through the hands of previous generations looking after and caring for the environment. So we all have to do our bit and we're really happy to do it. Well, we're very lucky and a lot of our visitors are really uh, in awe when they come here and they see and they feel and they experience all of the nature and the wild habitats that really don't exist in their country at all. So we're especially proud to showcase it to the rest of the world as well.